A new, simple, and easy moss and bone meal farm for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This thing is incredibly cheap and simple to build, and it works on any Minecraft world for Bedrock Edition. This truly is a simple and easy moss farm, and it produces about 18 and a half thousand moss items per hour. If you put all of that into a composter, then you're actually going to get a profit of about 770 bone meal. So this farm produces way more bone meal than it consumes, meaning that you can build this farm to replace your mob farm or your skeleton grinders for any of your other farms that need a supply of bone meal. It's much smaller and more lag efficient than my previous design, so it's better suited for realms and servers where you might have to worry about lag. That also means it's better for lower end devices and consoles where you just want to get a nice supply of bone meal or moss and not worry about lag. And let's take a closer look at this farm. As you can see, it is quite small and tiny, and there's only a a couple of circuits with it. So this is the basic off state. As you can see, it's going to be flowed with water and in its off state, it's basically not causing any lag at all. The on switch is currently down here, but you can move that to wherever you want. And this is what it looks like when it's on. We have a stone generator on the right to fill in this area with stone. And then we bone meal the moss in the middle. It spreads to all those stone blocks and then they get harvested and all the items get flushed to the front where they're then collected by your hopper minecarts and put into your chest. And as you can see, you get quite a bit of stuff very very quickly we also have a bone meal storage chest up here so you can just toss in a bunch of bone meal and then forget about it this thing consumes about 900 bone meal per hour but it also produces about 1600 bone meal per hour leaving you with a profit of 700 that you can then use for your other farms like your sugarcane farms or whatever else you might have as you might know bone meal is extremely useful on bedrock edition you can basically use it for anything and everything when it comes to plants the sky really is the limit but you you could hook this up next to your tree farm that way you never need to restock your tree farm or you could send all the bone meal directly into sugarcane for automatic sugarcane or bamboo production really there's just so many things that you can use with bone meal you could have this power like 20 different farms so a bone meal farm as simple as this is a great idea for your minecraft worlds if you need something a little bit more powerful this is my previous design which is much more advanced but it also produces about 61,000 items per hour so if you're looking for a much larger more intensive and more advanced build then check out my previous tutorial but today's tutorial is definitely a much simpler and smaller farm for your everyday minecraft worlds there's not much else to say about this little farm besides that it is pretty efficient and that we don't waste much of the potential of our bone meal in the center and we give it a fairly large area to spread moss to we also refill most of this area with stone before we bone meal again is that way we're trying to get the most efficiency out of our bone meal there's also hardly any loss with this due to some weird item physics you might see one or two moss blocks pop out the sides every now and again but it shouldn't really be anything noticeable and it's definitely not going to affect your rates if you enjoyed this type of bedrock edition tutorial then subscribe we're doing a mini advent calendar so i got a bunch more tutorials on the way these are all the materials that you'll need for this build as you can see it's a pretty cheap and small to medium redstone build all of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory but you will be needing five filler items for your hopper clock this entire materials list is also down in the description for your convenience and this is the area that you'll need to build the farm. It needs to be seven blocks deep, 11 blocks wide, and up to eight blocks tall. Now, it's important that you watch out for chunk borders. If you have chunk borders going through your stone generators, then you might have issues. And in general, I'd recommend that you chunk align this build. If you don't know how to chunk align things, check out my tutorial linked everywhere. The first thing that we're going to build is the hopper clock that controls the entire timings for the farm. So go to the bottom right corner of your build area, and we're going to go in and buy four blocks and place in a saw block there we also need a saw block up one more right there then a two block gap and do the same thing on the opposite side so that we have something that looks like this. Now we're going to place in a comparator right here and then a piece of redstone dust and a piston facing forwards and then do the same thing on this side right here. Now we need ourselves in two hoppers facing each other so just place in two directly like that. The little tails should be pointing into each other. Now we're going to place in a block here with a lever on it. This is the temporary location for our on and off switch. You can move that later uh, but now we're going to place in ourselves a redstone block and five pieces of filler items into that slot right there and as you can see this should be pushing back and forth you need at least five items in this hopper clock for the farm to work if you want it to run slower and be less laggy then of course you can put more items in here for now we're just going to flick that lever on and then we're going to move back behind this block and place in a repeater that should light up now place in a saw block here and then a saw block here we need a redstone dust right there 
redstone torch and then a repeater on four ticks like so now place in two more solid blocks and that is going to create a clock the next thing to do is place in a sticky piston facing to the side right here an observer on the face of it facing downwards and then we need a solid block above it and then a slab and five solid blocks going out to the side just like this once you have this in place we're going to install a redstone line on top of all of these blocks right here and then five pistons facing forwards in all of these areas go below them and place in some upper slabs underneath them just like so and then one more layer of slabs right here while we're here we're also going to place in a slab directly above that hopper just to block items from ever getting in there accidentally and now we're going to place in the glass blocks to contain all the fluids so we need glass on top of all these pistons right here and then two glass blocks on the right side one on the left build it up on left and right by another block and then just install another five glass blocks and these locations like so it doesn't need to be glass but it's nice to be able to look in there to see if any problems have happened that's all the redstone for your stone generator installed and now we're going to install the timing circuit for your water flushing and bone mealing system so place in a redstone torch on the side of that block right there and then we need three solid blocks going across and then some more blocks right here a block going up and then one more solid block right next to this one. So it should look exactly like this. Now we're gonna put redstone in all of these areas and in all of these areas, then one comparator right there and another one just like so to build a basic pulse extender. Place a temporary block on top of this comparator right here and then we need five pieces of obsidian going across the build and these should be lined up with your pistons on the opposite side. This is to stop your stone generator from getting a bit, you know, out of control and extending past the build limit of the farm. So and now we're gonna go ahead and place in ourselves a sticky piston directly above this block right here, an observer to the left of it and an observer to the right of it with solid blocks behind both of those and then dispensers on top of both of those as well for our water buckets we're going to place in an observer facing away from the build right there and then two solid blocks right here with another dispenser right here and a piston this is what's going to be actually bone milling your moss block and this will be harvesting the stuff that grows on top of your moss block so this is the bare minimum redstone that you need for the functionality of the farm however if you want to be able to automatically refill this dispenser with bone meal then you're going to need an additional dropper right here facing into it and then one more dropper right here facing downwards that way we can put our bone meal storage on top of this and while we're here if you want additional bone meal storage just put a hopper going downwards into that dropper and then a double chest up here and of course you can expand that to be whatever kind of storage you want and now for the item collection and storage system we're gonna go down to this corner right here and place in ourselves a sideways double chest lined up with this block and then another double chest right here like so now go ahead and place hoppers going downwards into all four of those spots now we need in some temporary blocks right here on the right side and then just place in six rails now once you have it in this shape you can break out the rails on either side and remove your, your temporary blocks and now we're going to place in two walls right here two hopper mine carts on top of those rails and then just push them into the walls that way they are properly lined up that way they get unloaded at the fastest speed that they can this farm produces items at double hopper speed so if you want to expand the storage system you need to expand it into two separate hopper lines so for example you would break this out and have one additional extension right here like that and then you'd have another one right here like this you need to keep in mind that you need two hoppers to keep up with this farm to finalize the stone generator we need five temporary blocks in all these locations right here just to contain all that water and lava we're going to place in a water source on every single one of these pistons and just click on them with a water bucket that way they're all flowing forwards like so and now place in one lava source right here that's going to spread across and make a bunch of stone now once that has spread across you can go ahead and remove your temporary blocks on the front here and now it is time to test out the redstone make sure that there is no water buckets inside of these dispensers because that would kind of you know ruin everything but if you activate this lever your hopper clock should activate and then your stone generator should activate as well and just fill in this entire platform with stone you should also be seeing this activate and this will continue to activate even if your stone generators aren't moving so this is basically what it should look like once it is actually functioning properly and now it's time to put the wall around this build to contain all the water and items you don't need to use glass blocks but it looks nice and allows you to see inside the farm if you're not going to use glass just use a solid block either way we need a line of glass blocks on the front right here to contain our items some blocks right here to contain items block right there and a block right there as well now go back to the beginning we need this entire thing to be a second block taller and then cover up the obsidian make sure you fill in these corner blocks right here and then we need in a block here 
and block here. If you want to, you can make this inner wall two blocks tall to make it look nicer, or you can just cover up this inner ledge right here with some slabs to keep items from landing on the edges here, whichever one you think looks better. But once you're done, it should look something like this. Now we need to place in the moss block directly in front of that dispenser right there, put some bone meal into our chest up top, and now we're going to go ahead and place in a water source in front of that dispenser, and a water source in front of that one, and now just go ahead and put yourself a empty bucket inside of that dispenser, and an empty bucket inside of that one, and now your farm is primed and ready to go. And the final thing to do is to come underneath your farm and install a bunch of slabs. This will prevent items from glitching through your floor. So first thing we need is a block above this hopper right here to prevent items from getting in there when they shouldn't. And then we need a line of slabs right here going across the build, lined up with this piston. And now we need slabs underneath every bit of stone to the left of this line, and this will stop your items from glitching through the floor and falling down here. We also need some slabs underneath all that obsidian and that's basically what it should look like now your farm is complete if we go down to the bottom over here and turn on this lever we should see it get bone mealed and harvest a whole bunch of moss and as you can see it's going to be working just fine now all the items are going to get pushed into your item collection right here and go into your chest as you can see we're already getting a whole bunch of items so you probably want this for bone meal and if that's the case then you'll need to rip out these chests right here place in some chests a couple of blocks down and then hoppers right there and then a bunch of composters right here and that's going to turn all the items from your farm directly into bone meal and as you can see the farm is running great and all of our items are being automatically composted for us meaning that we're getting a bunch of bone meal at the bottom here this produces way more bone meal than it consumes so it's enough to power this farm and even another farm that you might have in your world and if you want to move your on off switch then what you'll need to do is place in a block wherever you want your lever to be and then a redstone line behind it and then just a repeater going into this block and whenever this is on that'll turn your farm off you need a repeater right here otherwise this redstone block will just power the redstone line if you enjoyed this tutorial then subscribe so you don't miss future tutorials thanks for watching